Now, how are we going to get? Here's the tricky part here. Okay. We need to find a way to get the area of the base there at any point. How are we going to do that? Good. Okay. So what's going to happen is then I'm going to use the idea that this is going to be my height. So I already know, for instance, then, that height over width is going to be in the ratio of uh, 2 over 5. Now, here's the thing. What variable do I sort of want to eliminate here? Width, I'm probably going to get rid of it. Okay? So I'm going to say height, then, is going to be 2w over 5. All right, Brendan, so what's the area of the base going to be then? What's the area of the triangle going to be? Okay, think. If the height's 2w over 5, I'm going to say my area is going to be h times 2w over 5 divided by 2. Okay. Arrow can where that came from? From what? I need your second variance today. This is, this is the exact way to solve the problem. The best way to find the relate to is plus the easy way to find the problem. Before I move on to simplify this out, which I'm going to in a second here, what else do I know here? Well, uh, what else do I know in the first question? And what else I'm looking for is the yeah. options. Okay, so what's happening then? Alright, there's one last thing that I'm looking for. We're actually not going to let us perform this case. Yeah. Okay. The BHKB team is going to be Now, uh, when you're going through this one, it is very useful to write down your givens first. As soon as you write out your givens, you should know that there's no DW by DC to get rid of it. Okay, right? The only thing you're looking for is H and V. So make sure in your equation you're telling the H and V. Does that make sense? The logic there? Okay, right. So if you're taking the derivative of it, so you get B H by B C and B V by B C. So in your equation you're telling the H and V to get over to B H by B C and B V by B C. Mike, are you following what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You're trying to even this out in your head. I'll move this to the loop. Okay. So what my actual equality equation is going to be uh, 2H squared. So that's going to be my volume is going to be this. All right. Matt? Good. I just simplified. I'll go make sure my steps. Thanks, Rob. Okay, so I started with uh, V equals 8 times 5 over 2 H squared. Okay. Now this and this make it a 4. So H is going to be 
stories behind the five of these beers. Uh, but each time Jason takes a share, he still finds five to come in by five beers. All right. So there's my derivative, which is going to be nice. Now, if you want your scribble out. Brave and stay derivative. Now, Amy, I don't want you to answer for Matt. It's fine if you can. Matt, take the derivative of this one and say squared of these. Good. What's the derivative of eight squared? Tremendous awesome. Love it. All right. Pardon. What can I do at this moment in time? As you can see from these questions, like 90% of the work is just add, like if not more than that. Right? So just for clarification for those of you that are struggling with this, this is most of the class, so this is their place, okay? Um, right here under here is a seven question. If your numbers were given to you two or three, I think four. Why would A to B be by B C and B A to B C? Now only variables can have in that equation of A and B. So it's an inverse. So that's why when I have my original error base on set, I have to use a whole derivative of W because I don't want to do that. And that's it. This is like a stand, like this one and the last one, the real world will be on the test on the same one. So we'll start off quickly. All right. So realistically, what's going to happen is this on Tuesday. This is what I've done with my lectures on this, and I'll give you guys some hints and tell us when. Tomorrow I'd rec I'd recommend trying these questions tonight. And if you want me to do one or two small um, you know what I mean, like dissertation, I can do that. But um, yeah, so Tuesday before the test, I'd imagine I'll be able to tell you where you are. What I will do is on Thursday when I'm not here, I will also give you a course plan for the unit. Okay, which is funny because the unit will just be done in June. Okay, so what happens to things for me, this is probably where I'm at in class if I were going to do it. You can write down the course plan and just come here after the class. If you want to use the history and everything, that's fine. Okay, so I'll take advantage of it. Uh, there's a reason why I'm wearing a mental vision when I'm talking about it, because that's my body. Okay, so if you ever um, have some idea of like how to get the work you've done for a long time, uh, see this guy has to hold this mental image. And it goes from fabric to this thing. Okay, so it's like more of a global ayahuasca. Questions here. Amy, can I get another uh, slide, please?
Number 12 is going to be a little tricky. I didn't get a chance to do that one um, in your okay. Okay, Maybe I'll do this quickly before we go. Um, number 12 is one that involves um, a light and a shadow and a person walking away. So if you guys, I don't know if you guys have ever done this. At nighttime, there's a street light and you take a look at your shadow, like at the ground. Like my daughter loves this with this. And she'll be like standing beside me in front of her. Look, Dad, now you're 12 with you. I got stuff in your head. <laughs> point is, the closer to the light that you are, the less the shadow that you're going to have when you're further away. The question involving number, I think it's number 12 is the shadow question. I'll do one of those um, either on Monday on the review. I didn't get a chance to finish up tonight. Or tomorrow, uh, if Stacey has any questions on it. Um, but it's a similar kind of question, okay? So set it up like digital light. What do you want to do down there? Yeah. Whatever the person is there. You gave them that idea. So the difference is going to be you'll be walking, the person will be walking away. Okay, so we'll go right from into the shadow. Well, that'll be that'll be the difference, okay? So, but it's going to be like a similar triangle question. So think of it like that. Glad that it is. Okay, so give it a try tonight. That's like your starting point for it. Um, if you need me to go through it tomorrow, I can. Okay, so just um, yeah, do your best with that one. All right, I'm going to stop today. I think I'm stopping right on time two days in a row.